Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, host of the Business Forum Show. Have you ever wanted to improve your backyard barbecue skills? Join me across the street, because today we're going to learn how to make a gourmet burger just like the pros do. Meet Shannon Bass, the owner-operator of Urban Saloon and Grill on Commerce Avenue in Longview, Washington. Since age 13, Shannon's special passion for baking, making amazing desserts, homemade soups, and even authentic Mexican, Thai, and Cuban food. Three-plus decades in the restaurant business has taught her many of the secrets of the best chefs in the business. With eight of the finest gourmet burgers on her restaurant menu, Shannon is here to help you learn some of the inside tips of making a gourmet burger at home. First, we're going to start off with our ground beef. You could also use ground pork or any other type of ground meat that you choose. I'm using an 80-20 blend of ground chuck. The more fat in it gives it more flavor. So we're just going to break up the meat here. Next, we're going to go ahead and flavor our meat. First, I'm going to start off with two types of acid. This first one is a red wine. And next, I'm going to go ahead and add some balsamic vinegar. For two pounds of meat, I'm gonna go ahead and add one and a half ounces of each type of acid. And we're gonna go ahead and add our spices. Next, I'm going to add some garlic and also my spice blend. Here, you can go ahead and add whatever your favorite spices are. We get good flavor from the inside out instead of having to season the outside of the burger. It's gonna have the flavor all the way through. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up our burger patties here, being careful not to overwork it. We just wanna get those flavors mixed in very carefully. I'm going to go ahead and work with this for just a minute or so, just enough to get it combined without overworking it. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this into my individual burger patties. I'm gonna go ahead and make a third pound burger, so I'm going to make six equal balls out of the two pounds of beef. Next, we're gonna go ahead and press our burgers. I have a cheap little hamburger press here that you can find at any kind of restaurant supply store. You wanna use squares of wax paper. Go ahead and put our ball in there and press it out. Now, if you don't have a hamburger press at home, the way I like to do it is go ahead and take your wax paper square, put your hamburger in there, and I just take a flat pan or a pot and give it a nice little press to make an even burger. Either way works fine. Next, we're gonna go ahead and fry up our burger. I'm cooking on a flat griddle here. You can cook it on a barbecue grill if you prefer. I like a flat griddle or a fry pan because it makes a juicier burger. I'm going to go ahead and start off with just a little bit something to grease the grill so that the burger doesn't stick. If you have a non-stick fry pan, you wouldn't need that. At least probably 350 degrees, you should be able to feel a good amount of heat coming off of it. You want to hear a nice sizzle when that burger hits the grill. Before flipping the burger, you want to look to make sure you have a nice browned crust on the bottom side. Once you have the nice crust, go ahead and give it a flip so that you can cook the other side also. Look at that nice brown crust. Be sure not to press your burger. You don't want to squeeze all the juices out of it. Once both sides are nicely browned, you want to make sure that the juices are running clear. When your juices are running clear, you know that your burger is cooked through. If you would like, you could cook it medium rare or more medium if that's your choosing. At this point, go ahead and add whatever type of cheese you would like to use. I'm adding two slices of Tillamook medium cheddar. When your juices are running clear and your cheese is nicely melted, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the grill. We're going to start assembling our burger. You want to gather what type of ingredients you want to put on it. Here I have a ciabatta bun and also a pretzel bun. Those are my favorites. Let's start with the ciabatta bun. I'm gonna go ahead and add a roasted red pepper pesto to that. Some crisp green leaf lettuce. 
a little bit of red onion, and some jalapenos to give it a good, nice spice to it. Go ahead and place your burger patty on there. And there you have it, a wonderful gourmet burger. And that's how you make a gourmet burger. I'm Shannon with Urban Saloon and Grill. Feel free to contact us at 360-425-1541 or at our website, urbansaloonandgrill.com. Thanks for joining us today.